Welcome back to Daybreak. You know, there's seafood and then there's fresh New England lobster. No one in Central Texas serves lobster any fresher than Garbo's. We found out that at Garbo's Fresh Seafood, it's a family passion. Ew, every day we go someplace different. Call it spreading the lobster love. I like to venture out um, around Austin. I think it's a very untapped market. We go to Georgetown, we go to Cedar Park, we go to Lakeway, we go to Dripping Springs, all the wineries in Fredericksburg. She says she feels about lobster the same way folks in Texas feel about barbecue. This is my comfort food. It's my barbecue. And I came here to Austin and we have everything from Vietnamese to sushi, uh, tacos and trucks, and there wasn't another lobster truck, so I, I decided to make myself a lobster truck and a business. Food on your left? She grew up eating fresh lobster, and it's her goal to make sure each and every bite you get out of her trucks is as fresh as you'd find in her home state of Connecticut. In fact, her family makes sure that happens. Her dad and brother actually built the first truck she drove, and her family up north keeps the lobster supply coming. This is the, the best you can get, and I'm very fortunate that I have quality control up in New England. My family's looking after it. They only send me the best. That family's been in the lobster industry for over 40 years. They have lobster facilities in Maine, Connecticut, Nova Scotia, so they send the product to me uh, after the lobster's okay, been picked. Okay. This is mine over here? Yeah. Can I just say I'm so excited? This is amazing. Garbo's first truck started with a 20-pound box of lobster. That deep-sea deliciousness now comes by the truckload. And like I mentioned, Heidi's a transplant from New England. While she's loved her time in Austin, she also loves hearing from fellow transplants from the Northeast who come to try those lobster rolls. It's great to talk to everybody. It's a very nostalgic cuisine. So I'm super fortunate that I can represent New England. This food would make any New Englander proud. Of course, they've got the Connecticut style with lobster and melted butter. That's just clarified butter. Uh, we have Connecticut lobster meat swimming in there. There's also the Maine style, which is a bit different with mayo, celery, and lemon. All the recipes here are original. The sauces made from scratch. I, you know, stand behind every, every sandwich I serve always gets my seal of approval. It doesn't matter if you're in one of the food trucks, if you're at the restaurant, it does not leave the window unless it's perfect. And it, it really needs to be for you guys. Everybody wants something, you know, that's done well. Heidi admits that it's not exactly a cheap lunch at 13 bucks for a lobster roll, but she says it is definitely worth treating yourself occasionally. That is for you. Have a good day. It's a little taste of New England right here in Texas. So mm, good. It was so good. It was, All of them are good, yeah. but man, that was mm. fresh. Good it was lobster. so good that uh, like the, the following week, I took my family, we went to the brick and mortar <laughs> off of Wells Branch Parkway. Man, there's yeah. so many more options there as well, and it was it was delicious. And then they yeah. have Connor's Creamery, which is another little, um, her father has like an ice cream little a truck right dessert. outside. You so it's like dessert. dessert. Too. Ooh, so it's delicious. like Coke floats dessert. Yeah. yeah the and, spicy and, crab meat too. We had that yeah, one. Yeah, it was so good. And Sorry, then I just rolled home. Said, I know. You, you do your exercising. <laughs> we'll do the food. Story of my life. They get all the food stories and then come and tell me about it. You're in the